Hey everyone, it's Holly with Embody. I wanted to do a video about lipofoam. I get a lot of questions, a lot of the same questions, and this year I told myself I need to do more videos. Um, just, you know, it helps you guys, help you guys answer a lot of questions that you have. Um, so recently I have had a lot of questions about the foam. Why do you need them? You know, when, how do you wear them? So with the lipo foam, the purpose is obviously when you're getting surgery, you're wearing a compression garment and that compression garment is going to be really tight. And when you're, for instance, getting lipo, your tissues are going to be, you know, wounded and inflamed and there's going to be a lot of fluid. So the purpose of that foam is to disperse that pressure um, because that garment's going to be really cinching. It's going to be digging into those tissues and you obviously, you don't want that. And long term, if you're having that compression garment and you're not dispersing the pressure or wearing it properly, you can get fibrosis um, and other complications that you don't want. Um, so that's the purpose of the foam. Even compression um, and dispersing that pressure of the garment and you know just decreasing those indentations that you're gonna get from wearing the compression garment. Um, as far as how long that you should wear the foam it's my opinion that you know it's my suggestion that i would say about three months around about um and i say three months because just the healing process you know you guys are so moldable you guys mold to every type of change and you know difference in compression garments that you wear so i would say about three months uh, if you're having issues, I would do longer, maybe into four to five months. But as long as you're getting those indentations that are painful in your sides that aren't really going away, I will wear the foam, honestly. And as far as how many, a lot of my clients, they have two. So they wear one on each side. Um, and then they have the ab board in the front and they have the back board in the back. I don't really recommend that. I would have you, you know, you need to have at least three to four foam. So when you're wearing the foam, obviously everyone's shaped different. Some people are wider, some people have, you know, longer torsos. So you want to have enough foam to cover your skin, the whole surface area. So if you're having any gaps in between your foam, that fluid is going to go to wherever there's space. And you're just going to form hard areas where any opening is. So you want enough foams to cover that whole surface area of your skin. Um, so again, like I said, you know, depending on how big your stomach is or how wide it is, you know, is going to determine the foam, but it's going to be around three to four, at least not two. And then when you have your foam boards, um, or the ab boards and the back boards, you don't want to wear them underneath. So, as far as the order of how to wear them, you're going to have your tank. Um, so you're going to have your tank underneath the seamless tank, or you can turn it inside out so you're not getting those uh, seam lines or indentations. And then you want to wear the foam. And on top of the foam, you want to wear the boards. Um, and if you remember from my other videos, don't ever sleep in your boards um, just because, you know, you can cause a lack of circulation. So I would just suggest wearing the the boards during the day but again wear them over the foam because that foam is going to disperse the pressure um, so uh, as far as that's concerned and I guess as far as cleaning I'd probably get two sets because these are going to get nasty you're wearing these constantly 23 7 um, and they're going to get wet and kind of um, smell bad they could cause a rash um, so you definitely want to you know um, dispose of them when you need to and sometimes they get disfigured so you want to get an extra set or so just so you can have um, enough and you can have enough you know the proper compression so you know just a short video just to kind of educate you on the purpose of the foam um, just because you know there's a lot of questions surrounding the foam and why you need them um, again like I said I'm gonna do more videos uh, so if you have any questions please leave comments um, uh, any questions that you have, I'll try to address them. I'll do a video or, you know, make a post about that, uh, just so you can be more informed. That's, you know, my purpose of the video. Um, so again, follow me on, uh, at IG and body recovery, my YouTube channel and body recovery. Um, so hope you enjoy.